Hi Pisces, I'm going to see if there's any important messages for you from Spirit for March 2021. Spirits, what is happening with Pisces in the present? You have the Four of Cups. So someone's trying to offer you something here and you're not seeing it or you don't want it. But we'll get clarification. There is an offer here that you're you're not wanting. And what's crossing Pisces spirits? The Page of Pentacles. So um, this is an Earth sign. Um, this person could be coming in to give you an offer. But they're very, very slow. And what happened in the past? In the past, you have the Ace of Wands. So there was something that you were very, very passionate about. A new start in something that you started. And in the recent past, Spirits, what happened in the recent past? You have the Two of Wands. So there was a huge decision that you made here and you didn't take it easy this is something that you took your time to make this decision so we'll have to clarify these and what are Pisces thinking about spirits seven of cups so you have a lot of options and you are thinking about what exactly it is that you want to choose what you want to choose and what's going to happen in the near future for Pisces spirits? You have the Ace of Pentacles. So this is this is a really good offer that's going to be given to you. Something that involves your money, your stability, something long lasting that you can depend on. Could be money coming in to you. And, okay. What are Pisces fearing, spirits? Spirits, what are Pisces fearing? This is the Knight of Wands. This is someone who is, could come towards you. And, and they could show up and be very nice looking and um, you're really attracted to this person. But this is not a good energy. They come and they go. They're not anybody to depend on. And how are other people viewing Pisces? The Fool. So they're seeing you taking a leap of faith here. There's something that you're going to take a leap of faith on starting new and what are Pisces hoping for spirits judgment and the three of swords so you're making a judgment call on something where you felt broken hearted like three swords in the heart a lot of even physical pain from this but you're making a judgment call on it and what's going to happen in the future for Pisces spirits? You have the strength and you have the magician. So you're going to have a lot of strength moving forward. And there's something that you're manifesting here that will clarify. And on the bottom of the deck, you have the Eight of Wands. So there's going to be a lot of messages coming to you that you're going to be getting. And it could have something to do with money. Yeah, I see the Ten of Pentacles here. So this could definitely have to do with money. With the, This is a lot of money. Your home, your stability. So, um, yeah, this is a really good offer coming towards you that's going to bring money and let's clarify your cards with the tiny tarot
spirits why is the four of cups here why is the four of cups here okay so to clarify the four of cups you have the ten of cups so you could be moving out of this energy here where you're feeling bored and not happy with these three cups you're literally not happy with this um and someone's offering you something that doesn't make it any better, this offer that you're getting right now. It, so you're just kind of ignoring it and not happy with it. But this is going to lead you to your Ten of Cups, to your complete happiness. This is something that's going to be very emotionally fulfilling for you. Let's get another card to clarify the present for Pisces spirits. Please clarify the present. Wow, and so you got the Four of Cups again. I kind of think this is something that you're just not seeing. Like, you're so focused on these three cups that someone's offering you something that's going to give you your ten of cups your complete happiness and you're not seeing it but let's go on and see how this works out spirits what is crossing pisces why is the page of pentacles here yeah this is he can be an earth sign maybe someone who's younger than you that could be coming in to give you an offer or an apology, apology and it's going to leave you feeling stuck and up in your head and maybe blindfolded like you're not seeing things clearly, you're not seeing everything. And in the past, you had the Ace of Wands and it's clarified by the world, so you definitely started something here that you were very passionate about a brand new beginning in something and this opened up a new cycle for you like your world's different now than it was at this time and what happened in the recent past spirits why is the two of wands here <clears throat> so you have the two of wands you have the King of Cups. I want to get another card to clarify this. Oh, wow. And so you get the Two of Wands again. <coughs> Sorry. So the Two of Wands is clarified by the Two of Wands in the recent past. You literally have the world in your hands and you can choose whatever you want to do with it. Like, I feel like you're feeling free here, and the world is in your hands. You can, you're out looking out and making choices and decisions on what you want. And this is your energy where you're feeling very loving inside and caring. You have a lot of love to give, but you're not wearing it on your sleeve. You're not showing it. You could also be involved with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, a water sign. And what are Pisces thinking about spirits? So you have the Seven of Cups where you have options. And again, we have the Seven of Cups here, so this is really, really verifying this reading because you keep getting these repeating cards. Um, so Spirit wants you to know, as a matter of fact, you have all of these options to choose from, and you are looking at these three cups that are spilled over, and you need to turn around and look at your options you still have two full cups sitting up here on the table. You have balloons, a party going on, maybe a birthday party. <clears throat> but you need, you have tons of options here. That's what Spirit wants you to know. 
to quit feeling sad and to just turn around and look at what you have. And in the near future, why is the Ace of Pentacles here of Spirits? <clears throat> you have the Six of Pentacles and you have the Devil. So this could be someone wanting to give you equal give and take. Um, and then you have this devil energy here. So this could be, this doesn't have to be bad with addictions or codependency. This is someone wanting equal give and take. And this can be a Capricorn if that's significant to you. And what are Pisces faring? Why is the Knight of Wands here? So you're worried about this guy, this Knight of Wands, who you're very, very attractive to, but he he's in the energy where he comes in and then he leaves and he comes back and leaves and you're worried about being broken hearted over this. You're worried about your heart. And how are other people viewing Pisces? Why is the fool here, spirits? Okay, so you did take a leap of faith on something. You took a leap of faith and you could have gotten, literally gotten in your car and left someplace and made a decision and moved. This is also a cancer energy, if that's significant to you. But you may be feeling like stuck in your head, like so many thoughts and worries here. Other people are seeing you as being worried but moving forward and taking a leap of faith. And what are Pisces hoping for, spirits? You have the emperor here. Um, what you're hoping for is you want to be able to, with this judgment, you're wanting to release this broken heart that you had. And you want to take control back of your life. You're making plans here. He's also an Aries too. If an Aries is significant in your life. But this is someone who takes control. He's like a boss. And sets things right. And what's going to happen in the future? Why is the magician here, spirits? Why is the magician here? <clears throat> Okay, so you're you're going to have to be strong. Somebody might be being manipulative and it's causing you to feel defensive against something that could have something to do with what you're working on here. Like your home get another card to clarify the future for Pisces. Yeah, and I see gossiping here. So, again, <clears throat> you're going to have strength through this. You've already been through a lot in the past. You're going to be able to make it through this. This has something to do with your home, your healing. <clears throat> um, there's a celebration here and an offer. I feel like this has got something to do with your home. Your home or a marriage. And you're going to be healing from this. Because there's an offer coming in. Something that's very dependable and solid that you can depend on. That's going to be a celebration. And 
I feel like you've made it through the worst of this. This tornado is behind you. So you're walking out of this clear. Clear and free. Um, spirits, what's an important message that Pisces needs to know? Wedding. This situation involves marriage. What does Pisces need to know? <clears throat> this could be the one you've already met, the romantic partner you, you seek. Keep an open mind. Your, so, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So a honeymoon. Alright Pisces, thank you for watching the video and I will see you later. Please like and subscribe. Bye Pisces.